friends, and welcome to September. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and I'd really appreciate it. All right, friends, it is September. <laughs> And it's already feeling that way. It's gloomy outside. We'll take it though. In New Jersey here, we're having a drought. So I'm gonna put some lights on here. Ooh, let there be light. Okay, you guys are set up. Um, all right, it is September. And yeah, we have some exciting things coming up this month. Uh, I talked about it in my previous studio vlog, but I'm going out to LA to do the other art fair. So that's coming up in less than two weeks now. But all the work has been shipped. It's there. Everything is good to go, supposedly, we hope. <laughs> I know it's arrived. I just hope it's arrived in one piece, uh, but we won't know until I get there. But anyway, very excited to go out to LA and uh, experience the fair out there since I've done it here in Brooklyn so many times, but haven't done it there. So yep, that's coming up. I finished the Asbury Park mural. I hope you guys enjoyed the video about that. And uh that's that's all wrapped up and done they are gonna have an opening party don't know if it will be this month or not but that's gonna be fun when that happens and then speaking of murals i got another mural and it has a deadline of being finished by mid-october so i don't actually know whether i'll be working on it this month or right when i get back from la kind of hit the ground running um i'm meeting with the township today and um, we're gonna go over all the paperwork and we're actually gonna go on site to where the mural is going to be and we're gonna look at it together um, because I had visited the wall and um, just had a few questions for them. So we're having a meeting this morning and that's what I'm up early and ready to go do. So um, let's go do that. studio taking care of stuff and um just packing for LA as well as trying to get my stuff organized for my mural um that's kind of what I'm up to today although I would rather be making art good morning Zelda's here she does not like me packing she does not like suitcases <laughs> But um, what I am doing is sorting out everything for LA. So here are all my tools um, that I'm going to bring. Dots for if I sell, please. Um, this is for me to put pricing on the bottom of the ceramics. I was going to do it beforehand, but uh, I find that they were falling off <laughs> when I was wrapping it in the bubble wrap. So I'm just going to do it when I get out there. Um, you never know, we might need tweezers. Uh, we need nails, obviously, to hang the work in the wall, extra wire, tape, ruler, markers, just anything and everything here, my level. 
Um, and I was thinking of putting all of this in this container. That way, if I do want to keep it on site at the fair, it would be kind of inconspicuous. I do, I always bring this sign. I don't have this up while I'm in my booth, but if I go to the bathroom, I just like put this so people know I'll be back. Um, my prices, like my labels, that's an extra print. What I ended out doing was printing my labels and then mounting them on foam core like this. It just looks a little bit nicer on the wall. Um, so that's that. And then of course, this is a business card holder. So I have that. I always bring an extra just in case. Uh, business cards, even more business cards. This is another thing of business cards, lots of business cards. And then I made these this morning, which are like QR codes to join my mailing list or follow me on Instagram. Um, since that's where most of my people are. And then my drill. So I'm charging an extra battery for it now, but I had considered trying to rent one when I get out there or seeing if maybe there was another artist who let me borrow theirs. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna spend more money getting an Uber to go get a drill to rent it and then bring it back than if I just pack it in my suitcase. So I'm just gonna take it apart and bring it with me. I'm not sure I'll bring all the pieces. I'll probably just take out the bits that I need. Um, but that's what I've been up to today. So everything's kind of a mess. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning. Today is Sunday. It is a very rainy Sunday, which we love for being in the studio and art making. Um, yesterday we took a trip to Asbury Park because it was a nice day and Andre and Zelda got to see my mural. So I'll just show a few clips of that here. What do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a beautiful day. It was nice. We went, we got ice cream, we walked around the boardwalk. And um yeah, that was it was just a nice chill day. Today I do want to paint a little bit. Tomorrow my mom's coming over to do ceramics and um yeah, just have some creative time. I've been doing a lot of administrative stuff. Um you know, the other day I was packing and I had planned to do some work after, but what I ended up doing was uh cleaning out my bathroom closet. I don't really know why. I just felt motivated, I guess, since I was packing and I was looking for uh, some of my medications. And it just steamrolled. And I pretty much spent my entire afternoon just packing. So that was that. Today though, um, I have one thing to print off and get ready because a piece of mine sold off of Saatchi, but that piece is in LA. <laughs> but thankfully the client has agreed to wait till I can ship it from there, but I do have to print off the labels and the paperwork here. Um, but once I do that, then I can get into some art making. So let's, let's paint today. <laughs>
Okay, so I am currently scheming. <laughs> I leaned this up against the wall to work on it. And then I thought if I made it like a centerpiece in my November fair, what could I put around it? So I got two square pieces and these two circular pieces that could look nice framing it. And then I thought a larger square piece on one wall and then maybe my ceramics on their own wall. So it's something I'm thinking about. Already thinking about the uh, November fair, which is good um, because I've kind of shown the same body of work there several times in a row now and I would like to go with new pieces. So um, at least if I can start planning this as a body of work, it might be interesting. So anyway, just thought I would share that. Back to work. today got this one going did a sketch and some setup and I put some paint colors for what I think for the other ones and <laughs> I really didn't do too much on this one either it was like I feel like I'm just gonna start blocking things in on a few of these and see how that goes normally this style of working doesn't pan out for me when I'm doing multiple things at once, but I really want to challenge myself to create a cohesive body work. So that is the plan. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some ceramics. Good morning, it's a new day. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday. Don't at me. Um, so anyway, I got a bit more work done last night, so I'm gonna show you that. And I'm gonna apologize if it's noisy in the background because they are doing road work outside. Anyway, let's get into it. So essentially yesterday, I got started on a few new pieces. And what I've been trying to do is sort of doing sort of color blocking and putting in compositions. I wanna do that for these two today. And then it kind of gives me a base to work off of so that I'm kind of working on similar layers at the same time for multiple pieces. Like I said, this doesn't typically work for me. I'm very much into like working on one piece at a time, but you know, we're challenging ourselves. We're trying something new and going to see um, if it helps me create something that's maybe a bit more cohesive. So anywho, let's get to work.
Mom is here working away, putting a base coat on these of Buttercup. And I have lined up what glazes I want for the backgrounds of these guys. So mom has plenty to do and I have to decide what I want to do with myself. So that's mom left for the day and she, she left me with quite a few ceramics to do. So what I think my week's going to look like is dividing up what ceramics I can get done along with um, getting some more layers onto the paintings because both of these things are for November so they both need to get done. And if I get my mom's stuff before LA, um, she can get it into the kiln. So. I'm probably gonna keep working for a little bit longer tonight, but I'm just gonna see you guys later. Bye. Good morning. I am just in from an early morning meeting on site for the mural that I'll be doing. So I'm gonna put my stuff down, I'm gonna have my breakfast, and then we are going to get into painting and ceramics today. Let's do it.
took a little break to walk my dog. It is hot out there still. Um, but anyway, while this is drying, I am going to work on a ceramic for a bit. I actually started this one last night. So lots of little marks, but I think uh, it'll be cute. Kind of what I've been doing is these marks and then the twinkle pattern going up. I can actually show you. So like this one I finished yesterday, that style. It's kind of kind of the fall style because I was doing it the way before it was going down. And then mom said, why don't you try it going up? And I'm like, ooh, kind of likey. So that's what I'll be doing with this one. Zelda. Zelda. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm kind of tempted to start another ceramic right now. It's 9.30 at night. Um, I actually would prefer to paint. I'd prefer to paint, but I know myself. And basically, if I make specifically color choices in this lighting at night, I always wake up in the morning and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like daylight just leads to better color choices, <laughs> at least with me. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to start another ceramic because I kind of feel frenetic energy. Is frenetic even the word for it? I don't know. I kind of feel hyper a little bit. Um, it's like I'm tired and hyper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe I'll do a little one. Good morning. Today is Zelda's birthday, so we're gonna take her somewhere for her morning walk. Zelda, happy birthday. Do you wanna go to the park? <laughs> oh. oh my God, careful. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you know what she probably thinks this is. A puppuccino? Yeah. I don't know which one's yours. This one, I think. Donna. <laughs> she, has, she does. She thinks it's a puppuccino for her. I'm no. sorry. That was a birthday treat, not an everyday treat, my You'll love. You'll get it again next year. Oh. <laughs> She's like, don't touch me unless you've got a puppuccino in there. Oh. Mm. The ceramics um, yes I know I have to do these but they will probably be done at a later time but yeah my goal was to do two a day and then I would have finished on Sunday so that means I can't do math but it means I did more than two a day so very happy about that excited that my mom can get these into the kiln and Fingers crossed that they come out okay. I'm sure you guys will see what happens to them uh, in next month's studio vlog. So, anywho, I'm gonna call it a night and I'll be back to work on some painting tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, friends. It is a new day. Um, I have two days before I leave for LA now. So I'm going to go get my nails done and then just chill. I'm pretty much trying to be a hermit because I don't want to get sick before leaving. Um, but something uh, I like to do before any art fair is get my nails done since I'll be displaying work. It just feels like a nice thing to do. Plus I've been working hard this week, so it'll be a good treat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Uh, gonna work on this painting before leaving. Let's go.
Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. I leave tomorrow for LA and if I'm being honest, I'm a little, I don't know. It's like I got the nerves. It's one of those I'm excited, but also anxious. Like last night I had a dream that I went to my friend's place to pick up my artwork and out of the three boxes, there was only one there. So just silly things. Like I just have to know you know, stuff will go wrong. Stuff always goes wrong, but that I can deal with it. I can handle it. Um, but yeah, we're, we get on the flight tomorrow and we're heading out there and it's going to be a long week. But uh, let me show you guys what I've finished up in here so you can be caught up to all the work that was done this week. So obviously they'll need another coat, but I have done it in my background so that when I come back in October, well, I'll come back and be on my mural, but once that's done, I can work on these and just get into the details and finalizing them. Probably finalize this one first when I'm back because it's kind of going to lead the charge for the rest of them, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. They all look unique, but the same body of work, so that makes me happy. And then here are my ceramics. So I'm going to pack those up to bring down to my mom's tomorrow when we're dropping off Zelda. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't and you watch my stuff. Uh, it's one little click for you. It's free, but it really helps out my channel a lot and I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.